Hello and welcome to this special series here on the Money Mile, Investing in 2020. And joining me is well-known certified financial planner, Surya Bhatia. Thanks very much, Surya, like Thank always, you. for Thank coming you. by. Yep. And uh, my first question, 2019, while we saw good headline numbers as far as the indices were concerned, yeah. but uh, as we've been talking about all of last year, it was only about five or six stocks having done very well and the larger market not having done very well. Uh, and which meant that when investors looked at their mutual fund portfolios, they didn't see much of a gain. Do you see that changing in 2020? I think it should change, Vivek. It has been a tough year for everyone. And you actually see that uh, when the markets have been a lopsided one in the last one year, 2019 especially, uh, where you see, as you rightly said, only few stocks actually uh, saw that upside. And that also on the large cap side. And within the large cap also, the only very few selected stocks mm -hmm. we saw an upside. And as luck would have it, those stocks actually carried a very high weight in the Sensex as well as Nifty. So therefore, people thought, investors thought that, okay, the markets are going up. Why is my portfolio not going up? Or why my other stock portfolio is also not going up? It works on both sides. And you have to really explain to the investors over there that the markets actually has gone up only in a very, very selective stocks. Hmm. You could actually say around 10 to 12 stocks in the market which actually led the rally. But they were actually carrying a large weight. They were the typical the large caps or the, the big guys of town. And... But overall, I think the good part is over the last month or so, uh, you have been seeing a little bit of sustained rally across the spectrum. Mm. The last 15 days actually saw a little bit of mid caps outperforming the, uh, the large caps, which is bound to happen because the gap between the large caps and the mid cap actually has been widened a lot. Mm. So hopefully, uh, the current year running 2020, we see this, marge, uh, this kind of gap kind of shrinking from here. And the mid caps and small caps should do better. Because the valuations over there looks very, very attractive, but you don't have to enter into this space only with the perspective of one year, huh? mind you that, all the investors. You still have to look at a three to five years of investment horizon. You may see a lot of buzz happening around people saying, a lot of fund managers even saying that, look at three years. I think I will a little bit differ over here. By yeah. three years, you may get your returns, but that should not be your ideal investment horizon even from here onwards. Uh, one argument could be, okay, I've already been here for the last two years, so another three years from here, Yes, if you're already invested in. But if you have more money to put in, it comes with the same investment horizon of the next five years from here onwards. Mm. That's what your uh, investment rationale should be. And yes, equity should do well, but will always come with a pinch of salt. Have to be braced for that volatility attached to it. But I think going forward, equities do look attractive. 